everyone. This is Kim from Nerd Alert here for the Young Turks. We are live from the zone of totality for the solar eclipse today. We are in Salem, Oregon at the Oregon Fairgrounds, thanks to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. If you hear something going on in the background, it's because I'm at an event for the viewing with 8,000 people and one guy with a microphone. So this is a very great day for this. It's perfectly clear here. I know it's a little bit cloudy back home in Los Angeles and other parts of the country. We will be among the first in the nation to be able to see the solar eclipse. Uh, totality is at 10.18 a.m. Pacific time and it will last for almost two minutes. We are going to keep the camera on the sun for the most part here with our special lens. You won't have to look at me unless I have something cool to say with someone cool. And I do, because my friend Grant Imahara is here. You may know him from Mythbusters and the White Rabbit Project on Netflix, streaming now. Hello, Grant. Hi, Kim. I'm, I'm happy to be here in Oregon. It's perfect. So you came out here today just to view this, just to view the, the solar eclipse. This is the first time our generation has been able to see this, because last time was 1979, and only five states got to see it. Oregon's getting another one in over 100 years, so there's that. Yeah, I, I figured, I decided to do this day before yesterday because really, I mean, having the chance to see totality is, it, it doesn't come that often. And there's going to be another one actually in uh, coming up. Seven years. In seven years, but I really wanted to just go and see this here and see it live and experience it. Awesome. So we are going to go back to the sun very soon, um, and hopefully we'll have more people to talk to. Grant's here. Um, There's an astronaut. There's an astronaut here who we may be able to wrangle, Dr. Don uh, Pettit. And he has seen two solar eclipses, but from space. I mean, we're getting ready for an amazing event, but how was it seeing it those times? Well, when you're looking at an eclipse from space, you want to look at Earth, not at the sun, because the real show, the special show from space, is looking at the shadow, the umbra and the penumbra, or if it's an annular eclipse, the anteumbra. And you look at that, and you can see it on the length scale that you can't see from airplanes or on Earth. I mean, it, it must be amazing to look down on Earth and see all that happen. It, it is, and the amazing thing is you are seeing phenomenology that astronomers several hundred years ago worked out the mathematics of, but were never able to see it from that perspective. And the amazing thing is these guys nailed it. They, they were able to do the math and they were able to predict what was going on, and it's just the way it happened. So. We have them to think because we are able to predict orbits and be able to know exactly where we can be. We will be in the 66 mile uh, wide umbrella of the moon, thankfully, uh, coming up soon. Um, wow, it's so amazing to be here. And you are from Oregon, so this is kind of a, an amazing thing to watch this from home. It is, and this will be my first total solar eclipse from Earth. I've seen two from space, and I think it's going to be wonderful that I'm 30 miles from my hometown, which is Silverton, Oregon, and I'm going to be able to see my first eclipse at the Oregon State Fairgrounds, which I remember coming here when I was just a little kid, like you're seeing all these little kids here. We used to come here to look at the cows and the sheep and, and ride uh, the midway. And now I'm back here looking at a total solar eclipse. Why, what a treat. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us, Doctor. Um, we're going to go back soon to the sun because I don't want to keep you away from it. It's getting more and more amazing as we draw closer to totality at 1018. Thank you so much again for joining us, Doctor. My pleasure. My pleasure. It's time for the total eclipse. This is what it looks like out here. We have... I can look directly at the, oh my god, okay, let me flip it around. We are looking at a total solar eclipse. I've zoomed into the sun. Oh my god. Of course, you can watch the, um, the version live right here. 
on the Young Turks. Oh my God, we have a perfect ring right here. I'm also live on Nerd Alerts if you want to see the experience from my point of view here in the ground without the lens. I am looking directly at the sun without my goggles on, my protective eyewear, thanks to this very unique time. It is so cold, it is so dark out here. It's incredible to look at. I've never, well, you can see the stars out. You can see lights from planes. It's gorgeous. It's, it's hard to describe how beautiful it is. I'm looking around the fairgrounds. It looks almost like it's sunset, but I'm gonna keep it on here for you to see how it looks after totality. Um, and we will see it almost light up like it's daytime again. I'm gonna keep the camera up there, directly on the sun. It's insane to look at. You can see almost the grooves of the moon, the imperfect surface of the moon as it blocks out the sun for this very rare moment. This is amazing. I'm so glad we came. I can't describe it. I'm really glad I came because this is, this is so incredible. Oh, no, no longer. We cannot look. Glasses go back on now. The sun is coming back on. I want you to watch this. It's almost as if we are at daybreak, though it is after 10 in the morning now, 10.20. Yeah, that's too bright. Do not look at the sun without protective eyewear at this point. Um, we also have Portland Tycho playing us in, creating a very epic mood after totality. This is what my view is here in Oregon, surrounded by 8,500 people in the path of totality. That's Andrew. He is getting the Young Turks live feed right now. Hi, Andrew. Um, I'm talking, if it doesn't make sense to you, I'm talking live to the Nerd Alert Facebook feed as the sun returns to us as we pass totality. Do not look at the sun anymore without protective eyewear. We are no longer safe. We have a slight sliver there projected on the screen. This is such an incredible experience. It's, I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. So, that was awesome. Um, that was really cool. We were both Facebook streaming as we were watching, you know, going back and forth between wearing the glasses and not. We still can. It looks like the, it looks like an upside down crescent almost at this point. Yeah. Uh, but how how were you feeling? Uh, it it was a really weird experience. It was kind of like I felt like time stopped. You know, it's that feeling of. Everything gets kind of quiet, and it's 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 unnatural, is what it feels like. But it's very natural, but very rare. It was such an experience to be here. Uh, it was cold. Yeah. It was still. It was quiet. Like like within you know ten minutes, it got really cold. I mean, I'm not taking my jacket off yet. I'm still cold. As we uh, look at the sun, we we will not finish last contact until 11:37. I felt like my my hair standing on end on my arm. Uh, go go watch uh, our archive now on the Nerd Alert and the Grant Imahara pages for our live reactions of that. We are going to continue to show this for a little bit, uh, but people are starting to peel out now. <laughs> that was such an experiment. That was neat. That was really, that was unique. We are going to be learning lots of scientific uh, research going to be done here thanks to this that I talked about earlier. We're going to get the first thermal images of Mercury. We're going to learn more about the surface of the sun, the corona. We're going to learn more about nano flares. We're going to learn more about how space weather uh, can affect Earth weather and, you know, exactly what that space weather will be. They're so... This is amazing. Yeah. It's a great day for science. It certainly is. It certainly is. All right, thanks, Grant. We're going to go back for a little bit and check out uh, uh, the, the finishing parts of the eclipse as it moves away from totality. Keep watching. Is this your first total solar eclipse? It is, yeah. Um, I was trying to take photos, and 
completely speechless during totality. So I got a few photos, but it's just, it was pretty pretty mind-blowing to watch it happen. I feel that exactly. I was trying to do Facebook Live, and it was just like, oh, oh no. One little tear came down and a, a bunch of whoa. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I took a few photos. I tried to stop and watch, which is what they recommended that people do. And then I took a few photos right at the end. During the totality, it was so, I was noting with Grant, so silent, so still, so cold. It felt very, I don't know, surreal, I guess is how I would describe it. Yeah, almost a little scary to think that this thing that we're so used to being in the sky all the time is suddenly just gone. It's just, it's, it was there and now there's this ring of white gases and that's all you can see and there's no, you know, you're just kind of disoriented. And the, the gases and like, you can almost maybe make out the grooves on the moon surface. Yeah, there were little, little bands of light sometimes moving around and occasionally a big sort of plumish looking thing, but it was very very, oh, very alien feeling almost. It was, but luckily we don't have to suffer like people did before the written word, before the discovery of science where people were freaking out, thinking this would affect their health, affect their pregnancies, maybe the earth is ending, maybe this ring of fire will consume us all, but luckily we have science and we knew what to expect, what would be there, and we were ready with many experiments to uh, to take advantage of this very unique event. Yeah, it's gonna be very exciting to see what all the different science experiments have captured today. Of course, it's still happening in other parts of the US right now, so we're gonna wait a couple hours and a couple days and months to hear the final results. Exactly, so keep, keep your eyes to the news as we learn more about the eclipse. Uh, thank you so much for joining us as we captured the total solar eclipse from the zone of totality right here in Salem, Oregon. And I want to thank you all for joining me and listening to me prattle on about Mercury's thermal images and our NASA WB-57 jets. Thank you everyone so much for joining us on this. I think we are going to end on a little bit. We're going to end a little bit with more of the sun and we're going to say goodbye. But thank you for joining us.